all esports fans know about the League of Legends World Championship or the Dota 2 International, but far less know about the Six Invitational. It's the World Championship equivalent for Rainbow Six Siege, one of the fastest growing esports titles. As such, it's the biggest tournament of the year with the largest prize pool on the line. Winning the tournament is the goal of every professional player and aspiring competitor. At the start of 2019, G2 Esports put a cap on a successful year of competition by becoming the Six Invitational 2019 Champions. G2 entered Rainbow Six Siege in August of 2018 when they acquired the Penta roster ahead of the Six Major in Paris. As the 2018 Six Invitational Champs, the roster was considered one of the best teams in the world. With a new organization behind them that boasts one of the best reputations in all of esports, it was now time for them to prove that they were the team to beat. The squad immediately rewarded the faith G2 had in them winning all five tournaments they entered during 2018. This included the Six Major in Paris, the Pro League Season 8 Finals, and DreamHack Winner 2018. This string of victories made them the obvious favorites entering into the Six Invitational taking place in Montreal in early 2019. This is the tournament that gave the team a legendary reputation. They kicked off the group stage with a perfect 2-0 record sweeping both Mantis and Mocket. Both series were lopsided victories for G2, further solidifying them as the favorites to win the entire tournament. Their only setback of the competition came during their quarter-final match against Space Station. They dropped the first map, Clubhouse, 8-7, putting them only one map away from elimination. This pressure made G2 perform even better than they had before, winning Bank and Villa in dominant fashion to secure their spot in the top four. In the semifinals, G2 encountered Reciprocity and made sure they were firmly in control the entire time. They swept the series with Reciprocity, only winning two rounds on each map, making it incredibly clear that G2 was the better team and deserving of their shot at the title. Riding the momentum from their dominant semifinal performance, G2 again looked unstoppable in the finals. They had to get through Team Empire, and the first game looked like it was going to be a fantastic series. On the board as they have a good start, Karzaka looking for a body, he knew that there was somebody waiting, but Jonas will win the fight, the Finns are heating up. Shepard is there to try and cool them off, but speaking of Finns, Kanto will finish Shepard, and Pengu stops shot. The game went into extra rounds, but ultimately G2 was able to win Coastline 12-10. The second match was played on border, but G2 was ultimately too strong here as well, winning the match 7-4. Being down 2-0 after two relatively close games crushed Empire's spirit. They looked defeated from the start of the third and deciding match on bank, which they lost 7-1. This gave G2 consecutive sweeps in the semifinals and the grand finals to become the 2019 Six Invitational Champions. They were clearly the best team all year, and by only dropping a single map on the biggest stage, proved to everyone that they were the most dominant team in all of Rainbow Six Siege. The core roster of Fabian, Goga, and Pengu won consecutive titles, and over the course of the year established themselves as some of the best to ever play the game. They're a group that will go down in Rainbow Six history as one of the best teams of all time. One, they are the best team that has ever played Rainbow Six, and the first team to repeat as defending reigning world champions